Pope Francis, Jesus gives life even when there seems to be no hope. In his reflection before the Angelus prayer on this fifth Sunday of Lent, Pope Francis affirmed that Jesus gives life, even when it seems that there is no hope or that, because of some painful situation in life, there is nothing left to do. This is what the Holy Father indicated while meditating on this Sunday's Gospel, which narrates the resurrection of Lazarus, a friend of Jesus. The message is clear, Jesus gives life even when there seems to be no more hope, the Holy Father stressed. It happens, at times, that one feels hopeless this has happened to everyone or meet people who have lost hope, embittered because they have experienced bad things such as a painful loss, an illness, a bitter disappointment, for suffering a grievance or a betrayal, for a serious mistake committed, and they have stopped hoping," the Pope commented. Sometimes we hear someone say, there is nothing left to do, and close the door to all hope. These are moments when life seems like a closed tomb, everything is dark, all around us we see only sadness and despair," the Holy Father lamented. Today's miracle tells us that this is not so, that this is not the end, that in these moments we are not alone, on the contrary, that it is precisely in these moments that Jesus comes closer than ever to give us back life," he stressed. After emphasizing that Jesus weeps with each one of us, the Pope remarked that Jesus invites us not to stop believing and hoping, not to let ourselves be crushed by negative feelings. The Holy Father also indicated that the Lord approaches our tombs and says to us, as he did then, take away the stone. At this time we have a stone inside us and the only one capable of removing it is Jesus, with his word, take away the stone. Take away the stone, the pain, the mistakes, even the failures, do not hide them inside, in a dark, lonely, closed room. Take away the stone, take out everything inside. Ah, it shames me. Throw it to me with confidence, says the Lord, I will not be scandalized, throw it without fear, because I am with you, I love you and I want you to live again. After encouraging not to give in to the fear that paralyzes, the Pope exhorted us to be witnesses of Jesus there in our daily life environments. And I would also like to say a word to confessors, dear brothers, do not forget that you too are sinners, and that you are in the confessional not to torture, but to forgive, and forgive everything, as the Lord forgives everything, he recommended. In conclusion, Pope Francis prayed that Mary, Mother of Hope, renew in us the joy of not feeling alone and the call to bring light to the darkness that surrounds us. In addition, at the conclusion of the Angelus prayer this Sunday, Pope Francis encouraged prayers for the martyred Ukrainian people, for Turkey and Syria affected by an earthquake, for the state of Mississippi affected by a tornado, and for Peru that is also suffering a lot. Yesterday, on the solemnity of the Annunciation, we renewed our consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, in the certainty that only the conversion of hearts can open the path that leads to peace the Holy Father said before the thousands of faithful present in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican. Let us continue to pray for the martyred Ukrainian people, Pope Francis encouraged, referring to Ukraine suffering the ravages of war, with Russia's invasion since February 24, 2022. And we remain close also to those affected by the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. To them is destined the special collection that is being taken up today in all the parishes of Italy, the pontiff continued as he recalled the serious earthquakes that struck both countries and claimed the lives of nearly 50,000 people. We also pray for the people of the state of Mississippi, hit by a devastating tornado, which this weekend has left at least 26 dead, Pope Francis concluded.